Welcome back to UMass Sports Weekly. I'm here with the women's lacrosse segment, and we got John Anderson here and Alana Alonji. So we got a 7-0 team going into that game against number 20 Albany, and it was a tough loss for the Minute Women. So, John, I'm going to ask you what went wrong in this game against Albany. Well, first off, I'd like to say, you know, tough one for the Minute Women. I had to shave, actually. I had a few bets going. <laughs> Not that I can grow much anyway, but it's really hard to pinpoint exactly what went wrong in this game. This game was absolutely, it was the clash of the Titans here. Minute Women have the best defense in NCAA women's across. Albany had the best offense. And usually you think defense comes away in something like that, but it just wasn't the case. The offense, Minute Women offense, as has been the case much of the season, just couldn't get anything going. They started in a four-point hole, could not get back. But like I said, it's really hard to pinpoint exactly what went wrong because as far as stats go, they were actually tied in most of the stats, such as turnovers and shots. Wow. So, I mean, it's really, it's really hard to say, you know, like they turned the ball over too much, but because they really didn't. They turned the ball over just as much as the other team. One thing I guess that you could pinpoint is that they had four shots go wider than that. They had, had two pipers, so you, you, you got to put the shots. you got to make the goalie make a save, and that's something that they didn't do. I believe it was only nine shots recorded on net. They actually did have more shots on net than Albany, but like I said, they just didn't make the goalie make saves. Most of them were just shot right at the goalie's stick. So, Okay, well, we know Albany has a great program. We, we've seen that on the men's side as well as the women's side, but you mentioned that we have the best defense in the nation, so Alana, I'm going to ask you. What, have, what has this team done to really get there? Well, they're definitely, you know, a very defensive-centered team. I think Coach McMahon knew that coming into this season, especially after a really successful defensive season last year. Um, they're, the numbers don't lie. They only allow four and a half goals per game, um, and it all starts with Rachel Valarelli in, in the cage. She continues to dominate and be extremely, you know, she leads the nation in goals against and her save percent, percentage, and that just allows everybody else, you know, it just follows through, you know, with everybody else. So the the Farm Twins have again been extremely dangerous and lethal on the ball. Um, Amber Tobin, the whole defense just looks extremely fast, and their athleticism shows. And I think that all around, that everybody's contributing. Well, when you have a defense like that, it's kind of a shame that we're not ranked right now. Exactly. I know we've been uh, arguing about that in past weeks. We were at number twenty, you said, and then that they one the lost. They got the boot after this loss. We got the quick boot, which I don't like. But we've had some key contributors, as Alana just said. So, John, I'm going to ask you, who's our mid-season MVP, really, in the middle of the season right now? Well, it really goes no, no further than Hannah Murphy. You know, we've been praising her week after week. In, uh, on a team where they lost four out of five of their leading scorers from last season, she's really been the bright spot on the offensive side of the ball. And this offense has not been producing much this year, but she does have 15 goals, if we can throw up the graphic. 15 goals as well as 16 assists. 37 shots, 19 ground balls recovered, and 31 draw controls. Those are all first on the team, except for second points. That would be Erica. Erica Ipe with that. She's got that accolade right now as the leading scorer on the team. But as, as you can see, like, it goes further than the offense. Ground balls and draw controls are huge, and getting possessions, in a, especially the game of lacrosse, men's and women's, is very big for this team. So not only is Murphy carrying the weight for offense, she's also carrying the weight in the uh, transition zone as well. When you're winning draws and ground balls like that, that definitely factors into that top defense that, we, that we've seen out of these minute women. So that definitely plays a big part into that. But uh, yeah, the team's playing great as of late, and we look for them to continue and rebound off this tough loss against Albany. All right, thank you guys. We'll be right back, and we're going to talk some men's lacrosse. They're playing well as of late. Stay tuned.